look at what drives us and what drives people in general is a being a contribution. We all want to be a contribution at some level. We do it in a more public way. You know, you do it on stage. A mom might do it by being a contribution to her family. Uh, a dad might be, no, I'm a contribution to my family. That's all it needs to be for me. Others go, no, I want to make a difference on this team. I want to drive the business to the next level. I want to take the sales team and make it even bigger, better. I want to be a contribution. Underlying all of that is where do we get to be significant? And that really is also an identity of what we do and who we are. So I'm just framing it and saying, okay, if I frame it that way, from your perspective, based on your experience, is there anything there that you would add to that or go a little deeper on? Is that helpful in the question? I, I would say this is that we all have a gift and, and I can't operate in, even though we kind of speak on the same subject of the millionaire mind and millionaire mindset and success, your gift is different than Daniel's gift. And the mistake that we make is we try to operate and live life in somebody else's gift. When you take your gift and you flow in that and you develop that and you have to develop it. Many people think it comes natural, even though you have natural talent, somebody who works with their gifts is going to beat that person with natural talent. And sometimes it takes a, a, a time to discover your gift. But once you discover your gift, you're like, man, I'm a good cook. And then you realize that you take that to the next level and then you take a chance on a restaurant and then you open up that restaurant. Well, then what happens is now people are benefiting. They're being significant because people are enjoying the environment that you created in that restaurant. They're enjoying the food that you created. And this is where most entrepreneurs mess up. They want to do everything themselves. You want to scale and grow your business, ladies and gentlemen, duplicate yourself. Duplicate yourself. And then as a, as, a, as a cook, as a chef of the restaurant, you're the owner, you duplicate yourself, and now you got four cooks, the volume of your revenue goes up because now you don't got one person cooking, you got three or four people cooking, and now that's what, but it's, it's found in figuring out that that's your gift. That's your gift. I can't have your gift because I have my own. I love that. I love that.